Welcome to Electron Online. Now we're venturing into solving equations. But before we do that, we have to understand a concept called the addition property of equality. Seems like a fancy term for something that's actually quite simple. But in other words, when you have an equation, and here's an example of an equation, there's a left side, there's an equal sign, and there's a right side, which means that the left side equals the right side. Now, how can you get the left side to equal the right side? We need to find the correct value for x such that the left side equals the right side. And the way it's written here, it would be kind of difficult to guess what the right value for x would be so that the left side equals the right side. In order to make that easier to accomplish, what we want to do is we want to get rid of, let's say, all the numbers on the left side and all the variables on the right side. We want all the variables to be on one side and all the numbers to be on the other side. Hmm, how do we accomplish that? Well, one way is to use what we call the addition property of equality. In other words, if I want to get rid of the minus 5 on the left side, I could add a minus 5 to the right side, because minus 5 plus 5 equals 0, and then the number will be gone. But the addition property of equality says that whatever you do to the left side, you must do exactly the same to the right side. Hmm, that means if we write it like this, we could say 3x minus 5 plus 2x, and I'm going to leave some room here, equals x plus 3. So what we're going to do is to get rid of the negative 5, I'm going to add 5 to the left side. When I do that, I must also add 5 to the right side. If I add the same number to both sides of the equal sign, then I didn't change the, the equation. I kept the equation the same. Whenever I add the same number to both sides of the equation, I have not fundamentally changed anything. I also want to get rid of the x on the right side, which means if I subtract an x on the left side, my x would be gone. But of course, the addition property of equality says if I add or subtract something from one side of the equation, I must do the same to the other side of the equation. Now when I simplify, I get the following. I have 3x, well, the, the minus 5 plus 5 disappears. So on the left side, I end up with 3x plus 2x minus x equals, and on the right side, the x's disappear. I end up with 3 plus 5. Notice all the terms that have the variable x in it is now on the left side of the equal sign. All the numbers without an x is on the right side of the equal sign. I can now combine like terms. In other words, 3x plus 2x is 5x minus x is 4x. 4x equals 3 plus 5 is 8. Now it's easier to guess what x should be so that the left side equals the right side. You can readily see that if x is 2, 4 times 2 equals 8, which means x equals 2. Another way to find out what x is equal to is to divide both sides of the equation by the coefficient, the number in front of x, the number that's multiplied by x. So I divide the left side by 4 and I divide the right side by 4. Notice that the 4's disappear and x equals 2. That's ultimately what we're trying to accomplish. But here what we're trying to illustrate is that we can use the addition property of equality to get rid of the unwanted terms on both sides of the equal sign by doing exactly the same thing on both sides of the equation. We can add 5 to both sides of the equation. We can subtract an x from both sides of the equation. As long as we do the same thing on both sides, everything is still the same. Now it also turns out that now that you know that, there's actually an easier way to simplify things. So let me go ahead and write the equation again. We write 3x minus 5 plus 2x is equal to x plus 3. And so again, what I want to do is I want to get the negative 5, I want it to be gone, and the, and the x, I want it to be gone on the right side of the equation. In essence, what I could do is I could simply move the negative 5 to the other side of the equation, and I can move the x to this side of the equation. And that's essentially how I get rid of all the numbers on the left side and all the terms with the variable x on the right side. But notice what happened when I moved the negative 5 in essence, when I added the 5 to here, I, had, I ended up with a positive 5 here. The negative 5 on the left side, and when I move it to the right side, it becomes a positive 5. And the positive x that I had on the right side, when I move to the left side, it becomes a negative x. So in essence, when we apply the addition property of equality, that's exactly the same thing as saying I'm going to move something to the other side of the equation. In order to do that, I simply change the sign. 
In other words, on the left side, I maintain the 3x plus 2x, but when I move the positive x from the right side to the left side, it becomes a negative x. I keep the 3 over there, but when I move the negative 5 to the other side, it becomes a positive 5. But in other words, we change the sign, this is a plus x, we change the sign when we move it to the other side of the equation, from a plus it becomes a minus, from a minus it becomes a plus, and that's exactly the same as the addition property of equality. So either you can use the technique where you simply add the same thing to both sides of the equation to make something disappear, or you can simply say, I'm going to move what I don't want on that side to the other side by simply changing the sign. It's exactly the same thing, and that's exactly what we mean by the addition property of equality.